Oh, hot damn, it looks like we're getting a new Tifa skin. <laughs> this is uh, proper giving me, like, Resident Evil vibes right now with the kind of over-the-top <laughs> theatrics. <laughs> oh, dear me. Well, if nothing else, she's got style, I guess. I don't know who she's shooting at that's up in the sky, but whatever. Let's check it out, man. Okay, so brand new event in Age of Origins, Desperate Hunt, that is giving us additional shards for a new skin for Tifa, the Black Wing Phantom. Looks like this event is going to be live for another two and a half days yet. I haven't touched any of it yet. I've just happened to notice it when I logged in today. So I'm just going to check it out and see what we can earn. So these are the rewards you get from hitting certain levels so far. There's a free box right at the start. Let's go ahead and just claim that straight away. Uh, in order to do this, what do we need? 30, 30 somethings, 30 somethings. Okay, so there is a unique currency here that you can get with AOZ coins that will help you unlock the additional tiers. At 30, you'll get nine recruit, uh, recruitment orders. You'll get some Pandora boxes and looks like a peace shield for a day. Once you hit 80, you're going to start earning these Black, uh, Black Wing Tifa fragments over here. Um, you'll get 15 at the 80 tiers, 20 at the 150, 35 at 350, goes up 650, 1200. Wow, all the way up, all the way up to 7,000. That is rather a lot where you'll gain an extra 100 shards there of Blackwing Tifa. That is pretty sick. So let's take a look. What do they have to tell us about this? In the Desperate hunt, hunt, all of your limited officers will share the same base stats. You can kill the invading zombies in the battle and get stronger by uh, battle power by picking up XP to strengthen officer skills. The event is split into high danger mode and ultra high danger mode. Dangerous or really dangerous. The big boss will appear in the ultra high danger mode. The big boss can't be damaged by normal skills. You must collect energy dropped on the battlefield to activate the laser cannon to kill the big boss. The difficulty is very high in ultra high danger mode, almost like it's like ultra high in danger. We could uh, we welcome ca commanders who are confident about this. Looks like we've got a fortifiability here that uses some of these uh, tokens that you can. I most likely I assume to use Do, when we use these. Let's have a look. During Desperate Hunt event, you use Hunter Badges to fortify your officer's potential, and the deployed officers will gain large stat bonuses after fortification. Fortifying uh, officer potential to the specified levels, you'll get all new active or passive skills. Cool. They all possess powerful effects that you can use to withstand zombies better. You can quickly increase fortify level through the one tap fortify. You need to be aware that one tap fortify will lose all your current Hunter Badges. Use with caution. Okay, so what I'm curious about is if we use those, do they... Do they bleed over into into this part here? We're, we're going to find out. And then it looks like officer overview. You've got officers that you can use have got different abilities. We're going to have to figure all of this out. This is a lot of business here. Okay, so let's just see. Everybody's got the same stats, and there's an additional one you can unlock for 30. How do we get these? Now, I've got 20 at the moment. There is currently the desperate supplies um objectives that I've already gone through and done here. So contribute to your alliance technology 10 times. Everybody should be doing this every day at least 15 times. Speeding up of 300 minutes. I've just used that to increase my uh, the speed on my troop recruitments to help me build up my battle power. Meld materials, easy peasy. More speed up, kill five zombies on the map, and meld materials 20 times. Shouldn't really be too much of a problem. You can also buy these with AOZ currency. Uh, looks like you can go all the way up to buying a thousand there, AOZ currency or real world money, obviously. Okay, let's just save that for now. Um, I want, I'm curious. I'm going to, I'm going to use one here. Does that translate into anything here? I mean, it still shows zero out of 30 right now, so I guess it doesn't. I guess it doesn't. Purchase, ah, okay, so it's... You have to purchase the Hunter Badges in order to unlock these. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Let's just have a look. I want to see what the gameplay is like. Oh, sick. It's it's kind of like a, uh, a almost like a roguelike game mode here. I'll certainly kill this zombie quickly. And then you can... Now, I remember when we first started the game, there was this little game mode right at the start, and I never saw it again. And I always thought that that was a bit of a missed opportunity. Because these sort of roguelike games, I really enjoy. If you played stuff like Deep Rock's... Uh, Deep... Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, that stuff is really good fun. Guard Drone, I, I believe this is the same ability you get when you first create an account. So it's a pretty fun game mode. You just run around. The objective is to kill everything, not get hit. Pick up the little bits of XP that will level you up. You use the level up abilities then to increase your stats, your skills, all that sort of business. Tons of zombies are coming soon. We can activate the laser cannon right away. 
Ah, you see, now this, it like the laser cannon, certainly wasn't in the start of the game. We used to have like an air raid strike that would come in. Okay, so you, if you pick up that, it activates the laser cannon. Let's see what it does. So we need to we need to stand in the halo to launch it. I just want to see what it does. Does it just kill everything on the screen? Yeah, it just kind of blows everything up. Now, from what I remember, that's the only thing that will be able to kill the big boss that they said. I won this battle. I'm so good, guys. I won this battle. All right. Ooh, okay. We've got different zones and everything. Today's attack time is three. So we've got uh, unlock fortify level two to into, into the high ultra high danger. You can choose your officers. I'm not sure. This must be the officers that you get at the, on the back. So you've got flip, fortify bloodthirsty, all this sort of business over here. Yeah, okay, fine. I'm, I'm not worried about that right now. Let's just see what happens. Survive for 240 seconds. I mean, I don't know if you guys can last 240 seconds, but I find 240 seconds to be a very achievable thing. I'm going to stay outside of those little red zones. Oh my god, these are like little banelings if anybody's ever played uh, StarCraft. Nice, let's get Tifa in our team. It looks like there is now two of... Oh my days. Okay, that does get a little bit nutty. This is actually surprisingly difficult to do on a keyboard and mouse because it's not really <laughs> designed for this. It's probably much easier to do on an actual phone. All right, so Mafia of Fears. We've got loads of stuff here. So we can upgrade the submachine gun for additional damage. Embody the Mafia Godfather using the submachine gun with high firepower to strafe the monsters. Increase the gun level to additionally increase this power. All right, let's go for Mafia of Fears, I guess. I'm just trying to uh, stay out of the range of these zombies as they come at me. Oh my days. Okay. Yeah, this is really tricky to do on a just using a mouse. I imagine this would be much easier with just using my phone. Okay, so antivirus grenade. Produce gas, explosion. The gas can dissolve monsters, taking continuous damage. Or we can do a hand grenade. upgrade. Yeah, let's get an ear assist in. I wonder, do those abilities, you can see them in the top left corner there. Yeah, it looks like those abilities automatically apply. We can see a little pickup there. That little uh, magnet, I imagine, will draw all of the XP on the map towards us. Ooh, Brave Star. Let's get an extra commander in. Can I grab that? Yeah, smash in. What else have we got? Uh, we've got Trick Shot. We've got, yeah, let's, let's, let's try and max out an ability before we start going for additional ones. Yeah, things are getting a little bit nutty here now. Uh, let's get that submachine gun upgraded. Oh my days, they are kind of overwhelming us right now. Let's get out of the way, hopefully. Oh my days, this is a lot. <laughs> you can see my health bar in the center there is slowly waning. So what's warning line? Place uh, electric insulators. Multiple insulators nearby will link and create a guard line. Approaching monsters will damage and slow down. Okay. Yeah, let, let's let's actually... I'm going to change tactic here. Instead of leveling up one thing to max, I will just try and... Um, I'll, tr I'll try and just get everything so that... Oh, my days. Oh, did we just get absolutely annihilated? Yeah, we got annihilated by the boss there. He came out of nowhere. We were just like... Zzzz. All right, cool. Sick. Okay, so we've got an idea of how this game mode plays out. Let's see what happens when we just start to fortify things. Let's go fortify, fortify, fortify. Increases dodge rate of the squad by 10%. Wonderful. So we've got sensitive one. I'm guessing that... I, I don't think you choose to fortify different areas. We're just going to fortify everything and, and locks things as we go on. So this sensitive over here, dodge rate of squad by 10%. That's probably quite useful. Critical strike rate of squad by 10%. Probably quite useful. If we got to level 9 we'd be able to unlock uh, ready to go. Increases your level straight out the get-go. So this is kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Let's see. I've got 2,600 AOZ coins, so let's just buy 200 of these right now. There we go. Let's see how we do here. So that should have... Yeah, there we go. I was going to say this This will have unlocked a bunch of these now. So we're getting... Uh, like I said, we're getting the nine recruitment orders there. We're getting a Pandora's box. We're getting uh, We're getting some fleet speed up. Additional records. That's for your, uh, your partners inside the med bay. And a peace shield. We'll gain 15 first shards of Blackwing Phantom Tifa. That's pretty cool. Warf Warplane fragments. VIP for three days. Lucky chest. Some good business there. All right. Cool. And we have got an extra 20 fragments there. Okay, so we got 35 fragments of, uh, of this new Tifa skin. Let's uh, Before we go any further, let's see. Is that actually enough for us to um, do anything different with Tifa? To actually activate that skin, I wonder? Where is Tifa? This is Tifa right here.
I'm not even sure how we actually activate that. Ah, up here, skins. There we go. So, not activated. You need 100 fragments all in all to unlock her. She gives a plus 2.5% boost there to all troops and looks like she's got some additional abilities. Gold Bomb 1, Breakthrough Skill, Air Support, Damage Boost. Uh, damage increases by the number of your surviving troops times 2. The skill display changes on the Gold Bomb effect. Okay, so what's this one? Gold Bomb. Um, damage increases by the number of your surviving troops plus times 2. Stacks with Gold Bomb 1 effect. Okay, so she can just do... Double. Looks like you need to involve the skin to tier 7 to unlock that. So, 100 shards of Tifa in order to unlock the additional um, the additional uh, skin. Let's see, what else can we do then? I'm wondering if we do throw everything in there, but I'm, I'm reckoning that we're going to get... We, we unlock an additional Pioneer, I think is how we do. I think that's where the first 30 should go to get a, a total of four potential characters, you know? Um, looks like you've got a number of attack times that you can do per day. Three attack times per day, you can actually level it up. When you go into the high danger mode, you can select your officers here. When you go into battle, I believe it lets you do this. Now, I don't know if these are temporary. Yeah, I think I would rather actually focus, first of all, on fortifying. So I'm just going to throw everything into fortify right now. We're just going to go straight up to level 18. Boom. There we go. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see how far we can progress this time. We need to be fortified level 22 to enter into hold ultra high danger mode. So we, we're not there yet. What are we, 18? I'm not sure if we can earn any more of those fragments just organically, but let's just see what we can do here. Let's see how well we can do now. Uh, let's definitely get an additional uh, hero right now. What else are we looking at? Uh, I'll get the uh, Molotov cocktail this time. All right, so let's blast our way through. Oh, got to watch out. Those little red circles on the floor definitely indicate sort of danger zones. Um, that if you step in them, you'll slowly die. I, I imagine that fire zone also hurts. Looks like it does, yep. Let's stay out of there. Don't get hit by the flying balls. Flying balls are incredibly dangerous to your health, guys. Be careful. Let's absolutely get Tifa. So now we've got four, four commanders all around us right now, or four officers, rather. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Stay away from the exploding, basically, banelings. They are essentially banelings. Let me know in the comment section down below if you actually play uh, <laughs> Star Wars. Uh, Star Wars? Starcraft. Um, EMP Whirlwind can absorb monsters. That sounds pretty good. Let's do that. Sounds pretty good to be able to absorb monsters. Oh, what's that? Oh, okay, so so we've got, a, we've got a magnet there that'll be able to gather up all the XP that's available. Just going to try and stay still. For, uh, there goes that whirlwind. All right, fine. Let's let's grab that. Hopefully get a level up. What have we got? Got ear assist from Tifa. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'm going to I'm going to try and spread around all of our buffs this time to try and make sure that we've got at least one thing of everything. Um, and I'm going to go with standard damage. When we get to upgrade things, it'll be whatever is whatever our basic ability is. Um, because these things on cooldowns, whilst good, I would rather have something that's always going to be applying a benefit. You know like our basic weapon. I don't know if this is the best way of doing things. Pocket factory, let's get new stuff all the time. New stuff all the time first, and then we'll focus on on upgrading things. There's the little pocket factory. Don't know what it does, but there it is. Oh my days, that is a lot. See, unlike a lot of roguelites, the butcher is coming in this time. He's the guy that completely ruined us immediately last time. Um, okay, he's over on the left there. You can see him on the map. Um, in normal roguelites, you don't tend to take a whole lot of damage. You tend to try and avoid damage at all costs, truth be told. Okay, let's get that. Yep, absolutely. Managed, managed to get the um, the magnet. So, let's see. We could get the, um, the sheriff upgrade over here. That's just going to be base damage increase. We've got another upgrade here. Let's once again... Oh, no, actually, let's get the warning line. These level ups are actually getting in the way of me trying to run away from this uh, zombie. I don't know if you actually recover health when you level up. Oh my days. Nice. Looks like we got the Chainsaw Butcher. Sick. We killed him. Alright, I'm going to uh, stick on the basic abilities right now. We're a little bit peaky in health. I'm hoping that we're able to recover. There's a lot of XP just sort of floating around there in the middle. Oh my god, we've got a Magic Spider next. Um, let's go with standard handgun upgrade first and foremost. 
Yeah, all of these are the same. Ooh, sharpshooter rifle. Now, nah, let, let's let's try and max out one person's ability, I think. Max out one person's ability and then stay away from the boss. Oh. We are so going to... What's that red thing? Please let that be health. Damn, we died. I was just trying to run through all the enemies. But hey, we got a new high score there, 181,000. Not too shabby if you do say so yourself there, Scribble. All right, cool. So it's still red. I'm assuming that's because we can do another thing. Um, I, I'm curious how those... Okay, so that score will translate into your ranking by the looks of things. Currently, I am not ranked. Only display with uh, 50,000 points or more, is it? 50,000 points and above. Looks like different ranks are going to give you different rewards. You can earn additional Blackwing Phantom Tifa fragments from being at least in the top 20 in the world. So that's, that's going to be pretty difficult to hit, guys. Looks like right at the top, you're going to be getting Desperate on a Hunt Pack. Get random items to the nation. That's pretty cool. By 500 commanders, you get a bunch of hero fragments. That's really sick. Uh, eight... Uh, eight hour healing speed up and looks like a bunch of reputation as well. Looks like even at the lower end you're still going to get some hero hero fragments if you get at least into the top 100, but uh, that's probably going to be pretty tricky. Looks like at the moment the top end score right now is 591,000. A little bit higher than my lowly 18,000, but there we go. What can you do about that? Uh, to get into the top 100 then, what, where do you need to be? Top 100 you need to be... At least 98,000. So it looks like it's, it's going to be pretty difficult, guys, to get into that top 100. But uh, let's do one last run, and then we'll wrap it up there. I'm going to leave my... Uh, actually, what, what are these assist things? Do? Pioneer 1, Pioneer 2. Okay. So let's actually just click this real quick. We probably should have done this at first. These are the different abilities that they get. Antivirus grenade blow up when they die. We've got the ear assist over here, which is fine and everything. The base damage can strafe monsters. Okay, so it just goes left to right. Antivirus grenade. And that, well, I mean, that's the same as these. Repulse reaction. Rocket barrage. All right, all right, all right. So I'm thinking that Pioneer 1 is basically, this will be your starting character. So say we throw in Tifa as Pioneer 1, and then we throw in Brave Star over here as Pioneer 2. The assist ones will be the ones that might join you afterwards, I guess. Um, okay, so let's just throw these two in. And let's... I mean, we could throw these, but... I would... I think I'll, I'll, sa I'll save those for when, if and when we... Um, get additional fragments tomorrow. Maybe the event will run again tomorrow and we can earn a little bit more. So F Medici, I'm definitely going to, going to focus first of all on getting new characters. And let's just get all of this business here. All right, let's see if we can beat our previous score. I'd be surprised if we can, but you never know. You never know. Banelin's blowing up. Banelin's blowing up. Let's be having you. Come on, guys. Just trying not to get hurt at the moment. That red mist looks like it probably hurts me. I do think it would be easier for me to play this if I was on my phone. All right, so let's take a look. Let's just get everything that we can first and foremost. Air assist I feel is strong, but the AoE is not massive on it, and I think the cooldown takes quite some time. It does look kind of sick, mind. It does look pretty sick. There's another level up. What have we got? Trick shot. All right. Ooh, I think that was a magnet. So I'm, I'm going to leave that as long as possible. I'll leave that as long as possible. See if we can stand still for the time being. Let's see. What have we got? Let's get the warning line then. As long as that uh, magnet doesn't I expire. The longer I leave it, the better off we'll be. Alexandria. There we go. She's got a sharpshooter rifle. Oh, that's good. Eee. All right, let's pick that up. How many level ups do we get? Uh, let's get that EMP whirlwind. What else have we got? Pocket factory. Give me. What else do we get? Molotov cocktail. Look at all those special abilities on the left-hand side right now. Oh, I want to know what that thing does. What does it do? No idea. I think it healed me. I think the little red globule is a heal. I'm not entirely certain, though. Mafia Affairs. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's stand on... Oh, that's really cool. Those... those, uh, those th Oh, my days. Those things do slow down the enemy as, as they walk through them. Well, it looks like we have been ma able to stay out of the range of this zombie. Nice. Definitely been able to stay out the... Oh, gosh. Here I am just walking straight through a... a a field of danger there. Let's increase the submachine gun, just base damage now. If we don't have anything extra to, uh, anything, any new abilities, I think we've probably maxed out on abilities, or, you know, not actually maxed them out completely, but maxed out the different abilities that we can get. Let's stick with T for now then, for damage. That spider, this is about where we got last time. In all my days. It would be great if I could stop, you know, running into things all the time. What else we got? What else we got? Let's, once again, just focus on that micro sub submachine gun. It would be really great if I could keep that thing inside. Oh, my days. Uh, let's go with... Actually, I, I really like this warning line. This warning line is actually pretty cool. What have we got? Just maxing out this warning line, apparently. Oh my god, we're so dead. Alright, cool. I think we did actually get a little bit higher. New haul time score. So, still not amazing, but better than we did on the uh, first couple of attempts. Pretty fun game mode. It is one of those game modes that I wish would be in the game more often, because they're quite enjoyable just in its in and of itself. If you like games like Vampire Survivors and that sort of thing, this Desperate Hunt game mode is just kind of in that vein, you know what I mean? Anyway, let me know what your scores are down below. How far did you progress, and are you actually going to unlock this new Blackwing Tifa uh, skin. Let me know. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing, and I'll see you all in the very next video. Peace out, and big love.